Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Serious Cubers Adventures in Project Ozone 2 Titan Mode. So today we're gonna do quite a few things, hopefully. I did preparations. Aha, uh -huh. probably the most preparations I've ever done in this. <laughs> so all of these things in here, hopefully are gonna be used today. Um, you might have seen just now, I have a wither thing laid out. Yes, we're gonna fight a wither today because I want nether stars and I'm hoping that with this crazy loot sword we have that we get a bunch of nether stars at once because that would be amazing but my armor is probably not that great so i want to upgrade this and i made the um yeah this guy the enchanter from ndio pretty simple to make not too difficult uh, by the way if you press i think by default is the numpad 3 button it uh, while you look at the block it brings up the recipe for it in any uh, any eye super useful just in case you didn't know that uh, but yeah, you can make enchanting books with certain items. So if you want protection four, you need a stack of dark steel and a book of quill, and then you get the book. Ooh, that's really loud for me. I need to lower that. Okay, so let's make four of these. And hopefully that will be enough. Uh, I still need to make a anvil. I don't think I have one. Okay, there we go. Anvil made. Put this away. Uh, there might be someone, some anvil around here. I feel like I made one at one point. But I don't know where it is, so shroop, take off the armor, all of it, and let's get that on here. So six level only. Uh, that will be, will that be enough? It won't. Okay. <laughs> so that might be a problem. Hey, where did my, oh, there it is. Kind of leaves behind ghost items. So I don't actually have enough levels left. Uh, do I still have essence berries? Yes, I do. I, I used to have two essence berry bushes in that corner over there and they one day they just vanished I don't know if there was like a Sunder or something or lightning that like killed it I'm not quite sure, but there we go. We have all protection for now. So hopefully that will protect us slightly And actually I think I found potions. Yeah, I did region to look at this crazy mob soul It's a lava slime and probably because there's like different sizes it like spazzes out kind of ridiculous, so let's take some potions if we're lucky, we can maybe one-shot that guy, but, you know, just in case. And I think I'll grab some obsidian. Probably don't need that much. Why is that not making more right now? Oh, it doesn't have enough lava. Interesting. I'll, I'll need to um, improve this. I know you can use a nuclear, nuclear bomb to speed this up, but I don't want to use a nuclear bomb for that. That sounds ridiculous. Why is there a spider down there? Why is there? Oh, are you guys up there actually? Yeah. Um, I, d I don't know if I showed this. I added like a few... No, you're actually here. What? I think they're glitching out there. Because I removed the spikes. Oh, interesting. Uh, yeah, I added some of these things here. But it's filling up now with all this crap. I need to fix that eventually. But for now, that is fine. Let me just put away this again. Because I don't need all of this. By the trophy. Okay, let's go to the uh, the nether, I guess, and place that portal. And I have flint and steel somewhere. I can see it. There. <laughs> Always so blind. What is this? Oh, absorption. We should use that too. Oh, yeah, and I found a draconic evolution magnet in a loot bag, I believe. So I'm using that one instead of the, um, the Botania one. Just because it's different. I never had one of those. I haven't touched draconic evolution at all. Who's, who's, who's attacking me? Uh, so we're just gonna make a little bit of a room here to fight the uh, the wither. Hopefully that's fine. Should be fine. I'll just place it up here, I think. And I also made 10 heart canisters. Not too bad to make. So we have extra health as well. So let me get this ready here real quick. Okay, I have a half ghetto little obsidian array here just to... Uh, Keep the wither somewhat contained, I guess. I don't know if that will really do much, but uh, better than blowing up the entire nether rack below my feet. And my inventory is terrible right now, but that's fine. So we can actually, I'm gonna leave the magnet on uh, because you know I don't want to lose the nether star if we get it. Okay, so let's get the other bag. Oh no, I have everything on me, so we can just place this down here. I think it will be fine. I think they can destroy obsidian, right? If they spawn, I'm not. Oh, I don't know if that works. Uh, we'll see. I guess I can go, right? Is there anything else? No, nope, that works. So technically, I think I just have to punch it and that's it. <laughs> he 
<laughs> yes, I do. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was amazing. Okay, we only got six nether stars. I was hoping for a little bit more, but that is okay. That will do just fine. And we got a rare shader grab pack and a infinity booster card for wireless. Allows the link a two, a two terminal or wireless crafting terminal to be used at any distance and cross dimensions. That is pretty awesome. Uh, we got some Civizio essence, whatever, and some crap, and our, well, six nether stars. Not the greatest, but it will do just fine. And what did we get here? We got the Solum shader. Okay, can apply to uh, immersive engineering things. Okay, now that we have our nether star, uh, let's grab the other items I have. Oh yeah, we got the division sigil too. I think I have some, but uh, good to have, I guess, too. So we need some of these things. I'm going to make the ring of flight today. That's why I'm kind of making this. So I think the first thing we need is something like this, right? Yeah, the magic core. And we need this little ring. So if you look up ring, I guess, or flight, I should. Ring of flight, there we go. So we need this thing, the thing, a diamond, and then we need these flight control units, which is just like an empty one, not too difficult to make, just a few things to crafting there. But I also needed a soul of a bat. And over there in our little tower, or what remains of our tower, um, if you look down there, I built a little dark room just for bats to spawn. I had one originally up here. The way I built them is like it's 1.5 blocks high so that no mobs can spawn, but uh, bats can. And it has to be dark, of course. But the problem is they actually only spawn below, I think, Y level 64 or something. So it didn't get any up here, but then I moved it down there and I got a bunch. So I have that already. Uh, we have the soul binder. And I guess I'll just place this. Anything in here? No, nope. let's get rid of this guy real quick. Put on the soul binder and then get the one of these guys and the flight control unit. Needs eight levels. Okay. There we go. There's one of them. Cool, so I need one more, so I need to grab some more essence berries here. Glu uh, good thing I have those. I mean, I could kill some mobs too, but, you know. This is faster, and then this one as well. Cool, and that should be everything we need for the flight thing. Do I have the diamond on me? I do. Now, I'm a little bit worried about this, because I've never used this ring of flight from Bobblelicious, because if you look up the use for this, it is also used for the extra utility flying ring. Which is the one I usually use. It's not a super difficult recipe because you only need these like unstable ones and the rest is pretty easy if you can make this extreme crafting thing. I don't even know how you make that. I never made one of these. Is it a dire one? Oh, <laughs> I hope it's not because that would be pretty difficult. Um, but I'm hoping that this thing just works. Yes, we have created flight. <laughs> I feel so powerful now. Oh, this is gonna make things so much easier, guys. Especially when I want to build some uh, some platforms and stuff. Awesome. Which is exactly what I want to do next. Because if I look at my smart goodie bag again, that's not the one. Uh, the rest that's remaining is all this stuff over here, and this is gonna be used for making a better ore system now to get actually a bunch of ores uh, a little bit easier and uh, in a better way so let's get started on that look how much easier this is now to place all these things down no problem whatsoever and that was actually almost exactly how many i needed okay so i'm gonna place this stuff over here for now i don't really know how i want to do this all yet um actually i have one here kind of want to grab some but uh, I, I played around with it in a single player world a little bit. Just lay out how I want to have it. And it seems to be pretty nice. So we will do this. The only issue is I think I may need another crusher biofuel system eventually. But uh, we will see. So the way this is going to work is actually I don't have everything. I need a bucket of water still. Uh, so we're going to get our cobblestone. Everything starts with the cobblestone, right? We need to grind down things and everything, the usual stuff. Do we have lava in here? Err, uh, probably not. Okay, let me go get lava real quick. Okay, there we go. So we're just making our cobblestone stuff here. I have these speed upgrades, but I don't think that actually affects how many it mines out. We need more of these world interaction action upgrades. So, and I always feel like that these actually make it a little bit slower over time. So I'm going to leave them for now. I'll make more of these other things later. Uh, but yeah, we need a, where is it? A... Pulverizer, and I made the resonant ones. The resonant ones need these um, 
crazy machine frames, so you need to keep upgrading them until you get the uh, the latest one. That's not the actual one. Uh, you get to this one and eventually to the resonant one. Um, and, and these guys allow you to have way more upgrades and stuff. I didn't actually need the highest one for what I want to do here, but I'll make it anyway, because why not, right? Uh, so let's actually disable these for now because I don't want to mess this up And I'm gonna try to design this in a way where we can expand this pretty easy So the first one gets cobblestone just normal and this will grind into gravel and has a little bit of a chance for uh, Sand as well, and I think do I want to cable from below? Oh, now that I have flight I can do that. I think that would be a pretty good idea actually I might upgrade my pickaxe soon too to the atomic disassembler from Mechanism. I love that thing. Um, downside is it can't be enchanted, but we might not even have to do that. So let's grab power from below here. Who? this is so cool. I've been wanting to do this for a while, but I, I was actually hunting, um, uh, hunting uh, wither skulls off camera a few times now. And they're really hard to get, even with my looting sword, it doesn't really give them, uh, give me them um, that frequently. Uh, you know what, let's come out here. I don't know if I'll need more things on the side, but for now, I'll probably rearrange this a little bit, but for now, this is good. Right, so this grinds down gravel pretty slow, though. That's why I made some of these upgrades here. And I calculated that, or I tried it out, and I basically only need the, wait, I need a second one. Where? Oh, you know what? I think my induction smelter has them because you need to like this is the first. Oh, this is level two, so you need to put in level one first and then level two. And now look how fast this is. <laughs> so that makes this go. Uh, and then we can use the item conduits at the back. And gotta say output at the. Uh, that's not the back. This is the back. Output here, and we're gonna do both colors. That's not both. There we go. And then we say input at the back. And we're gonna have to filter this though, because we only want sand in here. I should have filters, right? Uh, that's speed upgrade. Oh, I don't know if I need speed upgrades for this. Uh, I think I do actually. But yeah, we want to have this in inset mode. But we want to whitelist this one. And we only want gravel, because the, uh, the sand goes into the next one. So only gravel in here. And then this one. Boop. Input. We will say only uh, sand. So I see now, right now it's doing gravel. So that's that's a problem. There we go. Take this out. So that should only do sand now, and it outputs uh, dust, which is good. And we want to grind down everything, right? We want to grind down gravel, uh, sand, and dust, all of it. But now we're making this all. Let me actually go check where my other upgrades are. I Pretty sure I made more. All right, apparently I didn't have an extra one, but I just made one level one and we only need one in this one. Um, so the gravel one needs to be the fastest and this one needs to be slightly faster than this one. And this is the slowest one. So that's all good. So we can uh, actually set this to in out and then extract and that should be okay. Right, oh, and then we need to say, oh, can I do? All right, I can't do both colors. No, I can wait this way. There we go. Now. It's like input and output at the back So that should work that goes in here makes the dust. Okay, so ne next thing we need are the Sieves our oh, sieves. so I'll just put them so I kind of want this modular So I think I'll put them back here so I can like expand this further down if I ever need to So yeah, let's place them down here. We're gonna open up the back or the bottom as well And we later on we can use some covers to just hide them a little bit better here. Get some energy down there. Shoop, and connect this all up. I guess I should go through the middle here, right? I'll just do this for now. I know it's not pretty, but eh, ouch. Should be fine. I made full speed upgrades for each of them. I couldn't make the um, uh, the uh, what is it called? The fortune ones yet because they needed something I don't have. I think diamonds. <laughs> I'm really low on diamonds, but these are all at full speed now, which is pretty awesome. So this is going, this is all stacks here. Okay, cool. Right, so in that case, we only need to, you know, I guess I could output them. 
uh, at the bottom too. Although it's the same line here, right? This needs to be insert extract as well. And I could just use the filters to decide where they have to go. It would have been better if I put these below actually. So I will do that eventually. But for now, we could just do this, right? And I'm gonna say, gonna have to filter this again here. Gonna add a filter, I'd already put something in. I don't want sand to be in this. Let's do, actually let's do dust for this one. So it's like the one across. There we go, look how fast these are. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna take these out for now. Otherwise they're gonna do too much. And I don't want them to do stuff yet. See, it's already getting full. <laughs> That's kind of what I wanted to avoid. Um, yeah, let's, you know what? I need to do this differently. I need to set up, can I turn this off? Let's disable this for now. I need to actually set up where they have to, uh, where they output their stuff into first. Cause otherwise, yeah, stuff is going to get crazy in here. Okay. So let's go work on that first. Let's, uh, dump some of these things in here then. So there are items we can compact and there are items we can't compact. And the ones we can't compact, I'm just going to put into a storage drawer. So we will have a uh, drawer, I guess, on this side as well. I'll just put a little bit far away so we have some room here to play with. And just a bunch of these things. I don't know exactly how many we need yet. So I'm just going to put down some. Oops, didn't mean to place one of them there. Get rid of this guy. Uh, we have... Um, I know we have flint, let's see, we have, is there anything in here, the, I think the Certus Quartz, this one you can put in a block, Eulorium you can't, so we can actually put the Eulorium in here already, I'm gonna have to like sort this a little bit eventually, uh, in fact, let's, so that's the dust, let's get the sand going a little bit, maybe just a little bit of sand, so we know what exactly we get through here, and that's just manually. These, yeah, we can compress. I think the charged surface quartz we can't. That's the one we can't do. Cocoa beans we cannot do. So let me go sort this out a little bit. So you guys don't have to watch me do this. Okay, I just brought over one of these things that had a lot of the stuff that we can't combine. So I know which one uh, we can use here. I think that's all of them. Uh, some of these things in here can actually be combined. But all these like crazy dusts we have here, those shouldn't be able to... Uh, what is this? Oh, cactus seed. Sure. I mean, we don't really need these. I can just cr uh, trash them, but for now, I would just store them in there. And I should have a key somewhere so we can lock this. If we just right click the key at uh, a controller. Yeah, wait, it's supposed to lock all of them. Apparently, it's not. <laughs> Why not? That's weird. Usually, it's supposed to do that. It's supposed to lock all of them. Maybe it's a graphical glitch, I'm not sure, but I'll just lock them manually for now. Cool, so that's locked. So now uh, everything should go in here first. So we get our item conduits. Boop. So that should be the highest priority. So if we go down here, we can just change this real quick to insert. And then we say priority one. So everything will go in there first. And then if we can't put anything in there, because it's something we actually want to compact, we can now use the compactor. So we don't have these like auto compactor things anymore that we had before. Uh, now we have the compactor from this mod here, which is pretty good too. And it does need power as well. So that's no problem. We will give that power. And I used to because in my test, um, sometimes there were like too many items. Like if you have like, let's say three of every single dust and it can't compact anything, this would be full. And sometimes things would flow out. So I just use uh, two of them so there's like a little bit of an overflow and actually we're gonna do no actually we leave this on inset only we have a separate output i think maybe uh no that should be fine actually in out should be fine i think it does yeah i think it's smart enough to not pull out the dust i think it can only pull out the full blocks of the extract port so that should be no problem famous last words and we're gonna run down the lines here. Hopefully I have enough conduits for everything. So that goes in there. Uh, why can't I, there we go. Okay, so, and then on this side, we insert at the top, so we output at the bottom. Just put all of these here. Doop. Uh, extract, yep, 
and here. And so actually, once we connect this now to the other line here, we should see stuff already go into our system. Should see go stuff into here and then into here as well. Yeah. Cool. That's fine. And then we're going to run that power line over there. I guess I can use the same. Uh, no, I'll go down this way. Oops. Save a little bit of cable, I guess. Because we don't really need to go to the other side there. And that should be connected. So this should be already con compacting yep, all the things here. You can do some cool stuff here. You can say if you want to try the 2x2 two two first or 3x3 three three first. Um, and stuff like that. Always on recursive compacting. So that's pretty neat. Cool, that's going. All right. And then technically all we have to do now is... Uh, actually, we should use a different color for this maybe. Uh, do we? No, we don't. Uh, we, we can just dump this into our AE system, but I also want to smelt down all these things. But the question is, do I want to put in my AE system first, or do I just want to melt this first? Uh, I I think it's better to put it into AE system and then export it into like a separate area that's for smelting and stuff, so it's a little bit more module, I guess. Do we have a interface? We do not. So let's make an interface. We just put it down there. The interface is kind of like the... Uh, bridge between our like item system here and like uh, you can you can pump in items into the wait this do I want to do this here mm, no actually I don't want to go down this way because that will connect to our sifters and stuff as well do I have a crescent yes I think we can remove just these right the item ones I know it's a little bit dark here right now um, but not much I can do right now I guess I could go sleep, but uh, hopefully it's fine. <laughs> Don't I have like a night vision thingy? I thought I had like something that lets me see in the dark. I don't know if I have it on me. I don't think I do unless I'm super blind. I think I have like an artifact that lets me see in the dark. Okay, this is, uh, this is perfect. Cool. And then we say this to input. Okay, there we go. So now if we go up here... And actually F7, this is all super dark, so I'm going to have to light this up. I don't think the Magnum Torch is actually working at all, because I still see mobs spawning. But, yeah, we can see now we get all these dusts in here, which is pretty good. Yep, everything is in there, perfect. And that should be good to go. So actually I only have to uh, connect this again. Right, so this is only dust. Uh, why are you not going in? Insert, dust, extract. Oh yeah, we only need this on insert now, right? Uh, is it because you don't have power? Why don't you have power? There we go, I didn't have that set to uh, input and output. I guess it doesn't show the power if it's not doing anything interesting. Uh, this is going to be a big mess, I think. So let's take these out again. You know what? Actually, yeah, let's disconnect this. So we can set these up. Yeah, it's going to connect them too, though. Oop. Nope. Denied. Okay. Insert. Filter. And we want this one to be sand only. And now I'm actually out of item conduits. No! Alright. I think that should be it now. Uh, so we just need to connect these again. I'll do it like this, I guess. Should be okay, right? I'm just worrying, worried now that this won't get enough stuff. Uh, would it be better to pull it out at the end here and then go into this? I, oh, I, you know what? I can just say that uh, this one is fine. Wait, why is this not... Oh, it ignores the redstone even at the back here. Interesting. But we can just say insert higher priority so that these get them later. And then we just put in the speed upgrades again. And now the thing is going full crazy mode. Look at how fast it's sifting all the things now. Um, hopefully I covered all the things. This is all compacting. You can see we definitely need a second one. Hopefully we don't need a third one. Uh, that would be kind of bad. I don't think there's a bigger one, right? Compactor in this mod. Uh, nope, there is not. Okay, and it looks like all the stuff that's in here can, in fact, be 
compacted. So this should be good. So now, obviously, this is going to fill up pretty quickly here uh, with our dust and stuff. So that's fine. So technically, all we have to do now is set up a smelting area where we dump in all of this dust, smell it down into ingots. Oh, actually, we have to pulverize it first, right? No, we can smell it. Can you pulverize this at all? Yeah, if you pulverize it first, then we get double output. So we should do that first. And we could just use the export bus from uh, from extra, uh, from Applied Energistics. Do we have any? I don't think I ever made any. And we can't make any right now anyway. But uh, I'm still kind of deciding where I want to place all of that stuff. So for now, I think this is all we're going to do. We have all our stuff going here. Uh, off camera, I'll set up as area somewhere where I want to smelt it. Maybe I'll just put it here for now. And I might upgrade our AE system a little bit too because things are going to fill up pretty quickly now that we have all this stuff coming in, but should be good. And, you know, if this runs overnight, should give us quite a few materials. Let's just double check. This is uh, keeping up, keeping up, keeping up. Cool. And our power situation is doing just fine. Perfect. Hehehe, <laughs> I love it. All right, cool. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I guess I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.